how to make a Minecraft server for free. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install a Minecraft server on your computer for free. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So to get started with creating a Minecraft server for free, the first thing we need to do is simply open up a browser and navigate to minecraft.net slash download. Check the description. I'll have all the links that I talk about down there. So you can just click that and open it up. This is the official Minecraft website, so we know it's safe. Make sure you're going to the official websites. Once you get here, simply scroll down and find Minecraft server software. From there, we're gonna be doing Java edition. So select Java edition server. And then we just wanna find the download link for the .jar file that we're gonna be installing. Keep in mind, they do have a tutorial, so this can help you if you get lost or have any issues. Go ahead and download Minecraft server, and this will be the latest version. So I'm gonna select that and then just save it to my computer. And most likely it'll save in the downloads folder. Now that it's downloaded, we can minimize the browser so we can see our desktop. Then just open up a folder explorer and go to downloads, which is probably where the file was downloaded. And we can see it right there, server.jar. So what I recommend doing is creating a folder on your desktop where we can install the server just because we'll need to access that folder in order to open up the server. So it just makes it easier. So I'm just gonna right click my desktop and go down to new and then select folder. And I'll just name it Minecraft server. Now just drag that server.jar file into the Minecraft server folder. Now when we open that up, we can see that the server.jar is in there. Now, before we can open up the server file and install the server to our computer, we need to make sure that we have Java installed to our computer, which is what Minecraft uses to run. To do that, simply open up a browser again, and you just wanna to navigate to java.com. Again, this is the official website of Java. Once you get here, go down and select download Java for desktops, and then again, select download Java for desktops. Then just save that file to your computer. We'll go back to the downloads folder, find it and go ahead and open it up. If it asks, do you wanna allow this app to make changes to your device? Select yes, because we downloaded it from the official website. Then you just need to go through the installation of Java. So select install, allow it some time to install. Once it says you've successfully installed Java, you can close that and I recommend rebooting your computer just so everything installs correctly and works. Now that we've rebooted our computer, simply open up the Minecraft server folder that we created on our desktop, then find the server file that we downloaded from Minecraft, right click it and select open with and then Java. Now that we've done that, open up the EULA file, which is a text document. And what we need to do here is visit this website, make sure that we agree to the Minecraft terms for a server. Once you've done that, go right here where it says false, copy it and just change that to true. Don't change anything else. Make sure that true is after the equal sign. From there, select file and then save, and then you can close that. Now we can start our server by simply opening up the server file right here. Double click it. You'll see the Minecraft server open up. If you see this warning, do you wanna allow public and private networks to access this app? Go ahead and select allow. Once you open that up, it may take some time to prepare the server, but once you see done, that means your server has been started and it's working correctly. Now, before we actually go into our server, if we wanna change any of the settings for our server, all we need to do is first shut the server down. So select the X in the top right to close it. And then you'll see server properties. That's where your settings are at. So all we need to do is right click that, select open with, and then just do notepad. And check the description. I'll have a direct link to the Minecraft wiki where you can see all the options available for this. Like we could change the difficulty to normal if we want to. We can turn off monster spawns if we want to by changing true to false, different things like that. And again, check the link in the description to see all the available options here. Once you've made your changes, go ahead into the top, select file and then save. And then now all we need to do is open up the server once again, and those settings will then be run within our server. So now that our server is running, all we need to do is open up Minecraft, now that we have the Minecraft launcher open, right now you should be fine, but you wanna make sure that your Minecraft Java edition release version right here, 1.21.5 for me, matches the server download that we downloaded from Minecraft. So when there's an update of Minecraft Java edition on your computer, you'll need to download the latest version of the server file in order to be able to play on that server. So just keep that in mind going forward. You should be good now since we just downloaded the latest version and we have the latest version of Minecraft on our computer. So to play on our server, just go ahead and select play. Once Minecraft opens up to access our server, all we need to do is select multiplayer, then proceed, then just select add server, and you can give your server a name. For the server address, simply type localhost with no spaces. From there, select done. 
You'll then see your server come up. All we need to do is select it. It'll start joining the world. And then as you can see, I am now playing on my own server. Now that I've joined the server, if I go back to the Minecraft server file that was opened, you'll see your username has joined the game. And to make yourself an admin on your own server, simply go in the bottom box right there, type OP space, then your username. And then there you go, it's now made us a server operator. So now when we open it up, it'll even say it there. And then you'll be able to do things like change the time, something like that. All right, so that's how you make a Minecraft server for free. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.